and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later over there for some Golgari Storov. So we have a brand new donation deck here, which looks pretty sweet, where we have a Golgari mid-range deck that has some more creatures at the top end and some different creatures from what you usually see. As you can tell, we have Spawn of Mayhem, Doom Whisperer, Biogenic Ooze, creatures you don't see too much, and then Storov Devkarin Lich? Devkarin Lich? Probably Devkarin. Anyway, Devkarin? Something like that. Anyway, this Lich, 5-4 Trample, whenever it deals combat damage to a player or Planeswalker, then you return to hand a creature or Planeswalker card in your graveyard that wasn't just put there this combat. So we're using this as our way to rebuy some different Planeswalkers and big creatures. We have Kioras in here as well that can draw some cards whenever we play these big creatures um, and also can help ramp us to our bigger creatures as well. Uh, we got four Duress's main deck, which really isn't a bad choice these days. Like, Duress is good against everybody, honestly. So I, I don't mind that too much at all. A whole bunch of Elder Spells, which is good. Some Sweepers against some Aggro decks. Yeah, that's what we got. We got a lot of top end here. So let's give this a try with Golgari Storov. Hey, Zephyrs. All right, so with it being a donation deck, we're heading on over to the traditional constructed queue. And we'll play until we win five or lose two. This is a Joy deck. Yeah, this one looks pretty sweet. All right, so we, we are 0 and 0 at the moment. Yeah, I want to keep this. Get to Biogenicus, people. I'm all about that life. All right, so we're going to... Oh, wait. Well, too late. I was thinking that, like, you know, like, if this costs three with Spectacle, we need to, like, shock, so then we have, like, the three mana here. But, of course, we, we need to attack with Land War Elf also. Couldn't do both of those. Diamond Mare. More like Diamond barely sees any play. Uh, all right, I don't know where I was going with that. I, I ran out of steam there. Um. Well, attacking doesn't do a whole lot for us. We attack into a first strike creature. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty bad, I know. My bad. Splendid Angel. I like that card. We were just playing that card. So that's two life. Lean and Vanguard gains a third life. Oh, they should have attacked with Danatha. They would have gained four or five life. They could have turned Danatha, yeah, lifelink into an angel. Dies full encounter on that thing. I guess it doesn't make a ton of sense to attack. Is this an intro deck that we're playing against? Well, now they they didn't gain enough life now because they only yeah they only played one spell. Who's time? Whose time is it anyway? Oh, 
Ooh, Storov in a Jun deck with Rhythm of the Wild to give it haste. I like that. I think it's probably time for me to attack with the tokens next turn. Maybe not. Yannick, thanks for that Twitch Prime sub there. Welcome to the channel, Yannick. Um, I think I was a little behind here. It says Twitch, or they say it's 13. I think I was a little behind there. So there we go, 13 subs on the day now. We'll go with that. Destroy a tapped creature. <laughs> Credit come. Come on, cheers. Cheers. Um, so they gained one, two, this will be three, four. I think this is only four, right? Hopefully this is not five. I think that's only four. Yeah, because that's just playing Resplendent. Honestly, if we just... Wow, there's no blocks. Just take it all. Like, if they just had the the ability to activate Resplendent Angel, we were, we were not going to be doing good. <laughs> Credit Com, bring in that hype. Love it. Cheers, thank you so much. So I guess I'm supposed to play Ritual of Sets, or maybe just Force Landings. Basically, I don't think we need Midnight Reaper here. But I need, let's cast down, let's just go cast down. That, yeah, let's just take Midnight Reaper out, put in cast down. Okay, that's good. Uh, I, I need to kill, like, the, the cat. The 4-4 four, four that makes more cats, and I need to kill Resplendent Angel. And I think as long as I can do that, we'll be fine. Ugh. Yeah, if you have, like, uh, if there are songs, yeah, so VT Log, if there are songs that, that you like that you think would be good on the playlist, um, there's a, a room in the Discord channel um, to... Uh, there, like in the Discord, in the the Discord channel, there's a room ju just specifically for music requests that you want me to check out and and maybe put on the um, on the playlist there. <laughs> Thanks, Credicom. Thank you so much. So it does need to be on Spotify because that's what I use for the playlist, you know. So it's got to be something on Spotify. I'll just try again. Oh, I could have taken out these duresses, probably. Well, I don't know. Duress wasn't so bad last game. Yeah, they have stuff to duress. Well. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna need to draw some lands. I'm gonna pass the turn. Give them another draw step to see what else they have. Ooh. Maybe.
Maybe they just drew that Gideon there. Not, I'm honestly not really that sure if I'm supposed to play the other land or off here. Just makes their cleansing Nova so much better. I haven't I haven't gone and seen John Wick three. No, I've never seen any of them. I'd never heard of a John Wick movie before y'all were telling me about it, but then, yeah, I saw, like, some previews and stuff for other ones. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I, I missed other ones, but I guess they're pretty big. I am um, not sure we have enough lands, to be honest. I only pick targets. It seems fortune favors you. Nothing else matters. Doesn't feel like we have enough lands. We're still sitting at three lands. Like last game, we had a lot of lands, so. Um, but for how high this curve is, 23, it's... Like maybe I just can't honestly maybe I can't cut Midnight Reaper at all. Like maybe we just need Midnight Reaper as like our our thing that kind of helps us draw some more cards. Everyone is expendable. You can't assassin's trophy your own things. You can only yeah, you can only assassin's trophy opponent stuff. You can't use it as a a rampant growth kind of card. I guess I'm gonna have to trophy this Arch of Orozka. Well, so they're at five, six, seven, eight, nine, so they're at nine right now. So I, if we if we didn't draw the land to be able to play store of, then I would have considered just killing this sig sigled sword of Valoran just to take them off of a permanent. That is true. We may just Vraska ult, but I'm, I'm guess I'm going to be like minusing Vraska to kill this luminous bonds. I suppose.
and then don't be surprised if we meet again go grab the spawn of mayhem back and replay that card this game wait choose a creature or planeswalker they control I sh should have read that card because it said like choose a planeswalker and so I thought it was like one of those things like you choose the planeswalker then you choose the creature and then we can't cast hmm I should have read that card <laughs> I should have read that before. All right, read the card. The card worked differently than I assumed. Everyone is expendable except me. <laughs> Yeah. That's my bad. My bad. I won't forgive this. All right, here we go. We have gotten to the point where point of the game where we draw a Doom Whisperer. I like that point of the game. Uh, wait. This is actually bad. What does this card do? It's plus two, plus zero. Whenever it attacks, you make a two, two. Okay, it's not so bad. I was thinking that perhaps that card gave a lot bigger bonus than just plus two, plus zero. You know, like a get plus one for each land you control. There's some, some equipment that does that. And so I was like, wait a minute, that's a lifelink thing that's like 10 power. <laughs> I was like, this could be like first strike. It's like, this could be a problem. So I could have, I could have just, you know, like, uh, kept the land there, sacked, sacked the land, grabbed another land, played the Liliana. Oh, we had the other land anyway. Warrior Queen Necromancer. <laughs> Good help is easy to find in war. Everyone is expendable. All right, that's game. GG's. Fortune favors you. Hooblies! Aw, oh, thank you so much. Big time cheer. 
Thanks for all you do. It's my birthday. And I want to share in the celebration as watching your stream brings me great joy. Oh, thank you so much, Hooblies. Happy birthday. That is awesome. Hope you've had a wonderful birthday so far. Do I have a good birthday emote? Um, well, I got some Hawkeye and some cheers and some hype. Going with all of this. There we go. That's a good. <laughs> That's a good birthday cheers there. Alright, Lance have been a problem with our deck. Enjoying a bottle of champagne, doing some drafts, and enjoying the stream. That is an awesome, awesome day. Awesome day, Hooblies. Happy birthday. Mystic Snake. Okay. All right, Joy, I think we're going to need to get some more lands in your deck. That's what I'm feeling. There we go. Pass the turn. Pass the turn. No. All right, we need to hit a land drop. Golgari Queen this Narset. Come on, deck. Ugh. Ugh. Nope. Well, I just have another Narset. Like, killing that one and giving them a land. Nice! You went 7-0 with the Naya Feather deck and ranked. Way to go, Sonic Bob. I need to play that deck again. Definitely gonna play that during the sub battle stream tomorrow. I know eighty-eight ways to defeat you. Pick on your prowess. Eighty-eight ways, come on. Made up number. Alright, so I go Gari Queen, eat the Narset. They, Oath of Kaya, kill my Golgari Queen. Then I draw a land and play Biogenic Ooze. Well, we, we had to mold a 5 because we didn't have any mana. Like, our, our 7 and our 6 had no lands. Or, like, maybe, like, one land each time. On schedule. Yeah, five is like kind of auto loss. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you're hyped. So you'll get there tomorrow, Matthew. Heck yeah, we're on sub battle stream. I defy your nature flows with vigor. So we normal from three to ten Eastern tomorrow. I've got it. I have to go to the the store tomorrow morning and get cat food. I did the <laughs> this is a little embarrassing, but I drove to the store today. Um was there like running out of cat food. Uh used the last like this morning and then drove to the store. I but I, I also had an and the store is like ugh. <clears throat> The store is like, uh, you know, 15, 20 minutes away, so it's not it's not a close drive. But anyway, how am I going to do this? Yeah, this will work. All right, let's let's play you first. Um, anyway, so I. I 
I go there. Unfortunately, I forgot. I realized I forgot my wallet at home. And so I wasn't going to be able to buy cat food, but you know, I always keep a jar of quarters for just, you know, anything needed. So I always keep a jar of quarters um, in the car, and so I just used. I just bought like two dollar cans of cat food with like nine quarters. Yeah, it's just random at the time. A Trent, all you have to do is be there for the sub battle stream tomorrow and be ready to get picked. Basically, it's random. You just went to the CVS, same thing happened to you. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. Oh my gosh, how do we beat all these things? I'm not going to really be able to beat that to fairy. And so now, so basically, so moral of the story, so I got two cans of cat food, but I'm going to have to go back tomorrow. Um, I couldn't take very much time because I couldn't just like go back today. I couldn't like drive home and then go back because I need to make sure that we they got in the top thousand earlier today before stream. Uh, so I had to play some some games to get in the, that top thousand of Mythic, and then also I had to like play another game to get the fifteenth uh, win in the uh, Momir thing. Also, <laughs> so I had to do those plus, you know, just like normal house stuff. Like I did a, a load of laundry and a load of dishes, and um, you know, made lunch and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I've used I've definitely used chewy before, but I was like out of cans of cat food, and so you know I didn't have time to order or anything. War is coming. I join my cause. Like a fun new toy. Kaya does a great job of getting rid of my tokens and everything here. Yep, new code for today Inner Demon. Yep. So these are all the codes that work right now in Arena. If you if uh, if you haven't used all these, if you have your own Magic Arena account, um, exclamation point code for exclamation my point codes. Find all of those here in the in my chat room, in the Twitch chat. Discarding to fairy. Well, what is going on? How could that possibly be the card to discard? Sorry, let me try it again. I'm known for my There you go. Time. All of those. Time is much more malleable than people think. So if you haven't, you know, it'll say it can't be redeemed if you've already redeemed it before. Because some of those are, are kind of old, like play Ravnica. You know, like that's from the beginning of Guilds of Ravnica. But it still it still is redeemable. Better watch your back from here on out. Let us march into battle and make new comrades. They 
were a lousy servant anyway. And we are like in the hard lock right now. We don't get to draw an extra card because of Narset. Kaya's eating our tokens every turn. You know what? I'm not done yet. We're gonna need these elder spells after sideboard. We did mold a five, so we've like, you know, put up a fight for a mold of five. All right, Yud, have a good night. All right, well, that's going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and concede here. The most efficient way to grind back to Mythic... I think it's got to be Mono Red, the most efficient way. Mono Red is really, really strong, and you can play some games faster. Um, Mono Red still plays a really good late game, you know? It's not every game is, like, really fast or anything like that, but certainly some of them are. All right, so if I'm bringing in Elder Spells, what am I cutting? I kind of feel like... Spawn of Mayhem and Storiv are my least favorite cards, I think. Like, they get bounced pretty easily by Teferi and stuff like that. And this can, like, really help me dig for Elder Spell. I guess if I take these out, the Cures aren't going to really do very much. So maybe it's... Spawn may have flying is good. This can bring stuff back. Maybe it's spawn Kiora. Kiora. All right, let's do that. Kiora's and spawn. Who please keeping that hype going? My cheers. Thanks, Hubli. So yeah, any chance to see more Bant Arcbow tonight? Not tonight. Um, sorry, it's just going to be too late after this. I'll play that deck again on Sunday, though, for sure. Because tomorrow we're doing our sub-battle stream. Um, cool, yeah, but I'm glad you're enjoying that deck. Yeah, it's my, it's my favorite deck, too, right now. So yeah, we'll play it on Sunday, for sure. All right, Little Teferi, Big Teferi, Kaya's Wrath. Get rid of Little Teferi because it just costs less. How does the sub battle work? Yeah, how it basically uh, tomorrow it's just gonna we'll do it like kind of like giveaway style of all the subs like any subscriber that's in the chat and wants to play a match, and we just pick a random per random person and then we play a match, and a lot of people our uh, cheer for for the chat for team chat to try to take me down and we you know play best two out of three and i i have like a wheel that i spin to see what deck i'm playing and i i put you know like 30 different decks up there and so every single round i'm playing it i'm playing a new deck and the chat's bringing their cool unique decks um so it's a it's a lot of fun and um and then yeah we just do that again the after that, like, after the match, then, you know, kind of do it again of, like, pick a random person in chat at the time to see who wants to play next. So that'll be at, at 3 p.m. Eastern. So from 3 to 10, um, it's 9.20 right now. That's my normal stream time every day. I am not going to sit this one out. Hold that thought. I don't know if our opponent has any this basics. Is hardly my worst defeat. <clears throat> okay, they do.
So uh, Kaya's Wrath will clean these up, but then we'll be able to surveil. <laughs> yeah, well, the Champions League final tomorrow. Yeah, trophy's good. So why not Elder Spell? The because I wanted to do I wanted to play it on their turn so I could, got to untap and play the Doom Whisperer. And plus I wouldn't mind saving Elder Spell for like whenever we actually have a Planeswalker. Hmm, which one? Ooze or Whisperer? Let's go Ooze. Why not surveil again? Just didn't. I don't know. Like we could find. I don't want to just like you know, go down on life like really hard because we could find another Doom Whisperer or another Midnight Reaper. Um, you know, like it's possible to draw those and everything. But maybe just one more time would have been a fine surveil. I wish I could stop this somehow. <laughs> oh. That's true. If they kill this, they're, you know, they're going up to eight, but taking eight, so. All right. Biogenic ooze. Getting it done. Yeah, it does seem like people have wised up to the no basics thing. Golgari Assassin's Trophy Field of Ruin decks are semi-popular. We haven't played against any today, but play against them, you know, maybe like once a day for like the last like four days or so. Like maybe the last four days may have played against them like four times or so. So yeah, you see them around that just try to destroy all your basics. Or destroy all your all your stuff and, you know, run you out of basics. Sorry, that's a little bit better. Do y'all know much about Twitch Sings? And if so, do you think I should stream Twitch Sings for one hour? That's a bounty that I have. I, won't, I wouldn't be doing that tonight. Like I said, bounty's only available till tomorrow. So it's just like karaoke, right? So I would have to like karaoke for an hour straight. Like you need like breaks to like rest your lungs and things like that in karaoke. You'd like somebody else to help out with that. Try this. No. You just let me know if you're up for round two. All right, come on, Dad, get another land. That Kaios Wrath card is really good.
My prowl will keep an open mind. That Kai's Wrath card. Really strong. Ooh, we could have people on Discord. Could sing with me. They have other people you can sing after? Like, what does that mean? Trust me. You'll thank me later. I've got time. We just need five lands. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the mass manipulation deck. Um, the ban Arkbo deck that I, you know, that I play a lot, as you can tell, like with that deck, as you can tell, I have a lot against the manipulation deck because I don't like losing to it, which I still, I still haven't lost to it, but I don't like losing to it. Don't worry. I wouldn't want I to. I got this. I really should have seen that coming. All right, so they just had the one basic. Join my order. Unity. My students are loyal geniuses. Biogenic is better? No. Oh, okay, I gotcha. That makes sense. With how that that works. I gotcha. All right, time to look for the Elder Spell. Found it. I am the master here. A little bit never hurt anyone. Death is enlightening. Hone your control. Yep, normal stream time tomorrow. Ruined. Yep. Bleh. All right, time to start top decking. These Narsets. Uh, Narsets so good. On empty battlefields. Alright, so how are we beating Teferi? Hone your prowess. Yeah, this is this is GG. Let's skip to the good part. Man, y'all can see like the my my second monitor, like one of my two monitors here is just like wigging out. It's just like screen goes black for a little bit and then comes right back, you know, kind of thing. That's why you can probably see the how like the the lighting on me was changing there.
like that. Um, I think the new Teferi is stronger than Narset. In standard. Hurry. They're both very good though. Sorry I'm late. I've got it. I don't really have any reason to continue playing this game here. I play Doom Whisperer, gets tucked. Try to go wide, I guess. Like if they have absolutely nothing in their hand. We need to move quickly. If they have five lands. Trust me. Can we get this? I have a plan. I see great potential. Every day is a new lesson. All right, what if we top deck Elder Spell? I can no longer stand by and watch. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. What are you doing? What are you eating over there, Hawkeye? We had three Elder Spells in the sideboard there. We'd already seen two of them. All right, one and one. Could have a Mastermind in the deck to, I guess that could be a thing. Could be a thing. It's chapstick. It's chapstick. You don't eat chapstick. You trying to put the chapstick on? It's not how you put chapstick on. Silly cat. All right, same matchup. Um. Take the Kaya's Wrath and try to get this Biogenic Ooze in here. So, you know, Dovin's Veto, Elder Spell, those things don't stop Biogenic Ooze. <laughs> what are you doing? You want a pen? The focus. I have just the trick for this. There you go. Yeah, that's how you'd put chapstick on, but this is a pen. This is the chapstick. Oh, you just want to be pet. Yeah, Hawkeye's the best.
Please don't find another Kaya's Wrath. Ah, oh, no. Othakaya, no. Put thoughtfulness before action. Such worse. violence is upsetting. <clears throat> All right, well, we're doing okay. Don't flatter yourself. We have six power on the battlefield. No, they kept that card on top really quickly. We can't, like, you know, play around a Kai's Wrath. It's one power with that Lanowar Elf. Please not be Kai's Wrath. Hopefully it's just some other removal spell. Or even better yet, not a removal spell. Even better even better yet, maybe it's a Thought Erasure. No, it's a cast down. I will gladly point out your in I'd be less frustrated if you had fewer hmm. flaws. So if I attack Dovin for two, then they gain two life. That doesn't really feel worth it. <clears throat> when I have all these little crappy things. So they don't get to minus on Paradise Druid again. So they have to minus on a Land of War Elf, you know, it's like, Perfection sure, they're saving one life. So stop trying. Um... Yeah, just keep attacking them. We have a two-turn clock here. No, Kasmina. Listen up, and I'll teach you which we are the future. Ugh. Looking to elevate yourself? Okay. Perhaps a pair of stilts. Good draw. We can sack Memorial and focus on what matters. Grab ooze. What? They got rid of Narset? <laughs> you weren't even you were still okay. Just minus on the store of. Alright, so what do we actually want to do here for this matchup? Hmm. Are we supposed to keep Kioras? What do y'all think should be the three cards that I sideboard out? Last time we went, we took out the two Kioras and a Spawn of Mayhem, but we didn't win. Honestly, don't really know. Joy, do you have like Joy with this being your deck? Do you have a, a good suggestion? I think Spawn of Mayhem, Store of, and Kiora, like Spawn of Mayhem and Store of, are probably my least favorite cards for this matchup. But if we take just those out, it's going to make Kiora a lot worse. Like we need these cards in for Kiora to do anything. All right, so we'll cut Kiora and then uh, 
Yeah, Kiora's also ramp. True. And yeah, I guess we'll just do the same sideboarding we did last time. You like spawn versus control? Yeah, I don't hate spawn. I also kind of like store of though, if because if store of connects, you know, if either of them connect, it's good. But if store of connects, we get to get something back. They they both cost four for the most part. But yeah, if we attack with the paradise druid, it could potentially cost three. Our deck, it's not spawn won't cost three too often in our deck. <laughs> yeah, if we'd attack with Paradise Druid, we'd have exactly we'd have four mana either way. I'm going to try going with the Storov here. You know, Midnight Reaper is the better play against specifically Kaya's Wrath. Storov is the better play against everything that's not Kaya's Wrath. All right. Yeah. Well, they thought Erasure to away the Biogenicus. Now we just get Biogenicus back. So that's cool. Really? Just good game? <laughs> Both of those games, like our opponent made like a small mistake, but they were still perfectly fine and just picked up their cards after the small mistake. <laughs> hey, what's up, JRC? Uh, I think I was I was around like six fifty or so, like six fifty eight, something like that. I think like whenever the uh, whenever it reset it's like the ranks aren't official they'll send out an email in a few days of like what rank you officially ended up with but i should be should be pretty comfortably in the top thousand In this meta, like, horrible for standard mid-range decks. Um, I don't, I don't know, like, the deck that I've had the most success with is Ban Arcbow, and I would consider that just a standard mid-range deck. I've had a lot of success with that deck. Seems like you can kind of do anything in the metagame. Like, there's good aggro, good mid-range, good control. You can kind of do anything. Hey, Rex, going good. Yeah, we've had a fun day today. We've played some... Played a lot of fun decks, I guess. I guess looking over, we haven't been doing the, the most winning today. But we've played lots of really good close games. And it's been a fun day. So you were at... Uh, 1001 a minute destroy. before the season ended so you played another one and you won I was planning on playing Doom Whisper but I'm playing Domri I want to eat moved. this Domri Uh, so yeah, so you, so you, you were one, 1,001 with a minute left, so you're like, alright, join a new match. And then you played out the whole match, and then you won it, but of course that's after the season end. But you joined it before. So yeah, I don't, I don't know how that's going to work either, honestly. I'll be interesting to see how that works. I, I don't know. On 
what's about to happen. Do I actually want to sack this forest to draw a card? Yeah, I kind of do. Yeah, our opponent's playing Gruel Twister. Sweet. We played Gruel Twister yesterday, I think. I'm just going to do the surveil once, basically no matter what. And I don't really want another Midnight Reaper or a Swamp. So I'm just getting rid of both of those. I'm not going to do it again. I, I don't really want to, like, get rid of my life total too much. I think my plan here is to trophy the Hellkite and have Vraska kill the Living Twister. And I certainly want to do that first. Good. I won't forgive this. The ocean surges, life thrives. Look for more removal. All right, we'll do this again. Because we, last turn, we did not draw anything good. And we just need removal, honestly. I don't think Biogenic Ooze is really what I'm looking for. Oh my gosh, come on. Go to nine. Okay. There we go. Oh, I did that the other way around. Oh, I should have done the Doom Whisperer first. I, I can't pay more life, though. So, yeah, if I would have gone Doom Whisperer first, I could play it. But then I would have to shock in. Draw a card with Kiora, untap. All right, this is looking pretty good for us. Domri. What a glorious day for Savannah. I've lived with animals my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. So basically looking for Assassin's Trophy here. Let's try one more. All right, I don't want to go down to three. So let's, well, we'll still just, just draw a random card. Okay.
So the Hellkite, of course, has to block Whisper. Lance, what do they want to do after that? And so that puts them down to four. So they could block my land war elf and go to go to one. Or they block the Midnight Reaper, go to three. But they they need to do one of those. The Whisper is gonna trample over one point over the Hellkite here. Sorry, Waffle, I just saw your... Uh, sorry, I guess there's a little part where I missed a couple of y'all's messages, but um, Anth Anthetize, thanks for the kind words and everything. Glad you're enjoying the stream. And then RM, uh, RWM Waffle. So, for, yeah, for tomorrow, all you got to do is just be here. Be in the channel. Um, we'll pick a random subscriber whenever you are in the channel uh, between, between games. There's no list to sign up or anything. Just be here, and uh, if you... If you're ready to play, we'll do like a, a random giveaway type. Yeah, I think our opponent's thinking about how they can win next turn as well, I, I guess. But there's only like one block they can make. Assassin's Trophy was really good for us this game. Or they got disconnected. Hey, Metapod. Yeah, I'm glad you're just here lurking and everything. GG's. Thank you. They have a lot of flyers that Force Landing looks... Is looking pretty nice. Phoenix, Hellkite. We saw three Hellkites there. Soren makes some flyers. Let's go with all these force landings. Midnight Reaper versus Gruul. I think we just, yeah, maybe we just go like real control heavy. We don't play like Midnight Reaper, Spawn of Mayhem, that kind of stuff. And then no Kiora. Kiora was pretty nice for us though, that game. I guess I cut a couple Paradise Druids with bringing in Ritual of Soot. Hmm. I don't like how Store of matches up against Lava Coil either. Yeah, we could just cut... Actually, yeah, we could just cut some... We'll just cut two duresses. Keep the other two duresses in, though. They play a lot of Planeswalkers, I think. So why is Force Landing better than Plummet? Uh, because Arclight Phoenix and Rekindling Phoenix. Both of those Phoenix cards. If you just kill them, it doesn't really help you too much. Because, like, the, the Rekindling Phoenix comes back from your graveyard and into play Arclight Phoenix they can get it back from the graveyard where Force Landing puts those Phoenixes onto the bottom of the library basically exiling them alright so yeah I guess our opponent really did just leave after the last one so good curve it starts at 3 but we got a 3 a 4 a 5 and a 6 Ooh, starting at three, not what we want to do against red, but being on the play, maybe it's not too slow. Hey, Gustavo.
Their hand looks pretty ideal so far. Turn one Firebrand, turn two Steamkin. Turn three another Steamkin. It's looking pretty ideal. Okay. Um, well. Let's get a big creature. Hey, hey Lolly Jaeger. Day's going really good. How's your house cleaning going? Yeah, then also, yeah, against Kefnet as well. You want the force landing, get rid of that. Good call. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't have any high hopes of winning this match. We all know what Runaway Steamkin does. I think we've all seen it by now. <laughs> three hours later, calling it a day. Hey, that's I'm sure you did a whole lot though in the three hours. I'm sure you had a, a nice productive day. Um yeah, we were we were tuning the deck with Azan Angels. It's not that the deck didn't didn't really do that well, honestly. We played a lot of close games with the deck and um like our first match, like the first match we lost to Mass Manip the Mass Manipulation deck cuz I did I didn't have Tristanis in the deck, which of course we need Tristanis there for that matchup. So that one's kind of like, you know, throw that one throw that one um out of there. And then, like, some of the other ones, we were playing, like, really good close games. They just kind of didn't, didn't go our way. Um, but we were... We were, uh... The other creature decks were giving us trouble. I guess if they have any spells, we die, so we block like this. Just hope they don't have any spells. If they had like burn spells, they could have just like, you know, burn spelled my ooze and been able to attack even better. So maybe they don't have burn spell? No. They had burn spell. Why not just burn spell the ooze and then attack with the. F like the four fours, and then I'm just taking lethal. Yeah, like they could have just had lethal there. Well, I guess I would have. I would have had a chump block with the biogenic ooze at least. Okay. All right, hit him for 10. Draw another land, please. Uh-oh. Hmm. We haven't died yet. Oh, that's going to kill us.
Yeah, we were just basically dead to everything that I think I needed to hope that they just drew land. And I can really play around haste creature by sitting back. I don't, I don't think that was the right play at all. So I just had to hope that they just drew land. All right, bringing in all the removal. Um... I don't think we're going to get to six mana for that card. This is kind of tough. I don't really want to play Lana or Elf either. With playing, you know, Cry the Carnarium Ritual of so Lana or Elf. I think I like Paradise Druid more, though, because it can help fix our mana. <laughs> All right, so two Elf, three Druid. I don't want to play any of the other cards. No, I'm not going to take out Spawn of Mayhem, because Spawn of Mayhem is a big body, even though it does, like, the we lose life thing. I mean, if I had better things to play, maybe, but... Yeah, if I had better things to play, I could take it out. Um, but I want the, the big creature. So I am shocking in here so I can try to play Kiora next turn. Because then I could have, like, Kiora minus and... Kiro minus and, and duress last turn. Why do I love Krakens? Oh, just can't kill Well now I feel silly for taking the lightning strike instead of the lava coil after drawing spawn of mayhem. All right, Ritual of Soot. Yeah, it was three mana gain seven life. So that was pretty good. We did get to gain seven life with that three mana card. That's not so bad. Can we just draw a Ritual of Soot, please? I'll take Cry of the Carnarium as well. One more shot. Cry a ritual. Come on. Cry! Well, now they have the Steamkin. Because that was the problem with playing the card when I did. Now. We don't really have any life gain in our deck either, so once we go, once our life total goes down like this, we're in trouble. All right, so we went three and two with Golgari Storov here. I don't think our 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 deck didn't feel so good 
yeah, it felt like yeah against both Red and Esper, we really felt just just really behind. I wasn't really a big fan of twenty three lands with basically everything costing four or five mana. Um, you know, half of the deck costing four or five mana with twenty three lands. I really wasn't a, a big fan of that. Um, these creatures like Spawn of Mayhem, Store of Doom Whisper, even while they're they're cool, just the other cards that other decks are playing are just kind of better cards, unfortunately. I like the dinosaurs more for like these big cards, I like Regisaur Alphas, Ripjaw Raptors, um, Carnage Tyrant, Galta, all that kind of stuff more than. More than these. These didn't didn't feel so good. Frasca 4 did some work for us, for sure. Yeah, maybe Jund. Yeah, that's what we were kind of talking about that too. Yeah, Jund with Ry Rhythm of the Wild would be nice. And like Domery. Domery would like help help like ramp us and let us fight. But then yeah, Rhythm of the Wild with Storov could be kind of cool. Um yeah. So Mastermind in the main deck, yes or no? Probably no. Probably no. I think the deck, like, we just need a, a higher, like, you know, look at our curve here. It's just, like, even across the board. And you really want your curve to have a lot more, you know, even if, if you don't have ones, that's kind of okay, but a whole lot more, like, twos and then a little bit less threes and then less than that four and then just, like, a little bit of five and six. Um, you know, it should actually, you know, like we need, we need like a, a curve like that, not a, just a straight line. Um, you know, it should be like, like going down like a lot of twos and then not quite as many threes and not quite as many fours and fives to feel like we just didn't have enough lands for our spells and not enough card advantage. Standard's tough. Gotta have a lot of card advantage in standard these days. There's so much good card advantage everywhere that not that just kind of playing, trying to just curve out and not having card advantage. You know, with cards like Spawn of Mayhem, Store of, I guess can kind of get it, but not really. It's it's tough. Um, all right, so that's Golgari Store of. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button over there. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, subscribe to the channel would be nice as well. Uh, that's it here for Golgari Store of. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you.